Okay, whoa, that was loud. Finally got my microphone plugged back in, and we're good. We're great. We're gravy. But no, Effie, uh, it was actually Drake who said something about being bonked. So, of course, you know, I brought out the bonk stick. And I bonk it did it. The, the Drake. You know, that's also really good timing that you just did that because I was just getting my camera set up too. <laughs> so I can now validate the hydrate. Hmm. Good news, Drake. Especially, you know, particularly for you. I have been to the grocery store. We now have tea yet again. This one, which of course, you know, you can't see through a metal thermos, but of course, uh, we have the Yogi Positive Energy Tangerine Tea today, which is really good. It's actually almost empty because I've already almost drank it all. Feeling a little bit better? Never doing two vaccines at the same time again. Look, I... <laughs> uh, the moment you got those words out of your mouth when you told me you had both done at the same time, I was, I was sitting there shaking my head, just going, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Because I pretty much get sick every time I get a vaccine done. I hate it. Oh my god, these these uh, COVID-19 shots that I had to do. And getting ready to do the booster here soon. I just, oh my god. Completely knocks me out of commission. 150%. Oh, thank you. Like... Do not get me wrong. Doctors, you know, they have to go to pre-med, their four years of college, get their PhD or their master's or their doctorates, whatever it may be, so that they can work in the medical field and have the title of being doctor. And I have the grandest respect for them, for their resources, their knowledge, and the time and dedication that it takes to be a doctor. However, they do not have to live and deal with the day-to-day -day repercussions of our bodies that we do. So, <laughs> it would be one of those situations where if a doctor is going ahead and going to recommend going ahead and getting both done at the same time so that you can have your vaccinations out of the way and we can get rid of the risk factor of you getting them in the near future, fantastic. But I would be extremely quick to rebuttal. It's like, this is going to make me sick. This is going to cause me a problem. If you want me to take both at the same time, I'm going to need a doctor's note from you in writing saying that you said I should have both and that I'm going to get really sick because of it and that I'm going to need to be out of work. That is how the cookie crumbles. That is what you're going to have to do. If the doctor does not want to put that in writing and give you a note, then you can just look straight at him. It's like, well, then fine. I am not getting both done at the same time. And yes, Drake, with, with me being a type 1 diabetic, that does, uh, not leaning towards, that does make me immunocompromised. Um, so I am considered to be high risk for infections and catching sicknesses, um, viruses and whatever have you out there. Uh, I'm definitely at higher risk and more exposed than other people. So, you know, when they were talking about doing the COVID-19 vaccines and getting the shots out there, I would have been considered one of those high priority patients that would have gotten first access to getting the shot versus your regular person.
I have so many tabs open. Oh my god. But good news, my <laughs> root end is below the 300 marker for the first time in nearly 10 years. Oh, that is awesome. Definitely progress. And kind of reinforcing the, um, the whole type 1 diabetic thing. Uh, you said 300 and my first immediate thought was, you know, milligrams per deciliter. As in like blood sugar level. Although I'm still super excited that my A1C, for those of y'all who know what A1C is, uh, is finally below 7. I don't think I've been below that number ever since I was first diagnosed at the age of 11. Eating, paying attention to game, attention to Naka, attention to house, due to break or switch. Oh goodness. They're all over the place. Holy hell, congrats. I know. I literally had to look at my doctor and be like, you're not, you're not pulling my leg, are you? You're lying. Am I, am I being punked? Are there cameras hidden somewhere in the office right now? I never in a million years thought I would be below seven. I have struggled so much with my blood sugar levels my entire life. Drink. Let's go for tea this time with what itty bitty I got left. Elena, I finally got to the grocery store and got my herbal teas again. We have a tangerine positive energy yogi tea today, which is so good. I should have bought like 12 boxes of it, but they only had two in the entire grocery store. You're ashamed of what your work upset? Oh, what's your work up said? Are you talking about your, your lab work? The way I read that, I thought like somebody at work, like your manager said something or something or another. About time. Look, look, I hardly ever get out of the house. Okay. I have a very busy schedule and it's hard for me to make time to get out and get mundane things done until it's almost like last minute. But I finally got some tea. We have tea in the house. I was also being a super stereotypical diva e-gamer over here. I've got my full two liter of Mountain Dew on my desk. And I was 100% being my version of a fat ass over here. Eating not just Doritos, but the freaking party size bag of Doritos. <laughs> And it's empty. <laughs> I kind of went nom nom on those sons of bitches. <laughs> and they're all gone. Oh no, 13. Oh god. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Diamond, it has been a hot minute. How have you been? <laughs> is this easy mode right yeah t totally living up to the stereotypical gamer status over here with that um and don't call me weird but let me tell you just for the record oh hello i'm beeping um dipping cool ranch doritos and sour cream is kind of like amazing I know, like, a bunch of tip, chip dips have, like, sour cream in the mix or whatever anyways, but just pure sour cream on Cool Ranch Doritos is the bomb. Wow, yeah, my blood sugar right now at the moment, 78. Mm. I guess I overcompensated for something earlier. You think I cried? Yeah. When when you get those double digit numbers in an A one C, that that's when the doctor kind of looks at you. It's like we need to fix this as soon as possible. There, 
Uh, I think it was actually because of my A1C that I was finally able to convince my insurance company ever so many years ago to let me get approved for insulin pump therapy because the shots were just not cutting it. It was not getting my blood sugars down. And then I had to fight for continuous glucose monitoring, which, you know, took forever in a day. Can you taste the difference between regular and diet soda? Oh my dear God, yes! Uh, okay, so first of all, Again, I have been type 1 diabetic since um, I was 11 years old. So this was several years ago when I was diagnosed with this disease. I've been drinking diet sodas and sugar-free whatever for as long as I can remember, basically. So diet doesn't bother me. You know, I actually prefer the taste of diet. Now, if I was accidentally given a regular drink, it's honest to God, I feel like I'm drinking pure sugary syrup whenever I have a regular soda. There is so much sugar in regular soda. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's, it's like somebody gave you the bag of soda flavor mix like if you've ever worked in fast food or even the restaurant business period um when you had those big multiplex machines for the soda dispensers and you have these just huge bladders of soda mix um not the soda water but just the soda mix which determines like the sugar content and the flavor and the actual what what makes the soda taste like it does um it's it's like drinking straight out of that bag for me when i i drink a regular soda it's absolutely disgusting You're good, Diamond. What's new with me? So, uh, we actually got a, a few good things going on, honestly. Um, of course, we are right around the corner from the holidays. Uh, you know, most of America is getting ramped up to celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, we've also got In Walker, which I know all of us are super excited about. That's going to be coming right here at the beginning of December. December 3rd for the early release. And then, of course, the following Tuesday, which would be the 7th, uh, Pearl Harbor Day, of course, um, it will be on the 7th that we have the full release of In Walker. So I think for that entire week, couple of weeks following the release of the game, all of us are just going to be In Walker everything. Uh, and then, of course, then we got Christmas coming up at the end of December, New Year's that will be following up after that. So holiday season, lots of stuff coming. As far as the Echoes Chamber goes, uh, tonight we are doing our pre-release party of Endwalker. So we are just kind of celebrating everything Final Fantasy and what we're super excited about with what's going to be coming up in Endwalker with Sage, the Reaper class, everything just involved with Xenos and the epic plot twist that Yoshi P kept hinting towards and wearing this shite-eating grin on his face because he is going to rip our heart out, tear it to little pieces, chew it up like mashed potatoes, and then spit it out and expect us, the now heartless zombies that we are, to put our own heart pieces back together. So we've got all of that to greatly look forward to. I'm so excited. I can't even hardly sit still thinking about it um then on top of that me and our dj uh dj indigo angel here if you could do a shout out for her for me there drake uh we're gonna be doing a gift card giveaway for time cards for final fantasy uh so this is going to take place on november the 7th uh i will be doing one 60 day time card giveaway on my channel on that day she is actually going to be giving away if i remember correctly three separate gift cards for 60 days on her channel uh you can actually go ahead and sign up for that raffle on her channel by visiting her stream and typing in exclamation point 60 day that is six zero d-a-y that will sign you up for her raffle my raffle is actually not going to take place until the day of. So I will be hosting that and streaming that. Oh, wow, my blood sugar is kind of, whoo, hello, dropping. Drink some more of my tea. Um, I will be hosting that on November the 30th on that day, all together on that day. Uh, so if you don't get a chance to come on the stream, unfortunately, you won't have a chance to participate in the raffle. But we will be giving away that ca time card on that day. Additionally, more news. Let's try to get my sugar back up here. Uh, at the turn of the new year, the Echoes Chamber itself, so the entire club, is going to go through a remodel. 
We are basically going to be gutting the furniture, gutting the place. We are going to be expanding our casino. It's going to be a bigger area, hopefully with more tables. Of course, we're going to keep the dance floor. We're going to keep the bar. We're going to keep the stage. But we're also going to have a more defined, if not elevated, DJ booth. Uh, so whenever we do have a DJ Indigo Angel, Phoenix LaForest, performing in the club, she'll actually have a DJ stand to go up into. And we're also going to be adding a split-level VIP section to the club. Uh, so that we will have an additional um, addition to our services page where you can pay a fee for VIP treatment and services for that night. Or, you know, we'll maybe have like a membership type deal where you can do it for a week, months, or maybe a year at a time. Uh, where that will grant you access to the VIP section. And then, of course, being considered a VIP may get you free access to services, anything on the bar, um, maybe some additional benefits that we haven't exactly discussed or come up with yet. But all of those are going to be coming at the turn of the new year. So we've got a lot of exciting things that are going to be coming up. Oh, wow, that was a long tangent I just got on. Let's see if we can catch back up with chat here. Scroll see effie they did recommend lantis and i said no i would want to start lantis was actually the first long-term insulin that i was on i'm not familiar with any of the other types because lantis is the only long-term insulin i've ever tried but i do know that there's a bunch of different versions that you can do now the reason why i asked is we had a karen tell us that we gave her a regular soda instead of a diet when we know we didn't. Did she have a sugar testing machine at home? <laughs> um, okay, I got you. Yes, there there is a significant taste difference between regular and diet. Um, now, especially when it does come to multiplex machines that uh, are soda dispensers, if your levels get unbalanced or if the machine, for whatever reason, becomes uncalibrated and is dispensing more syrup than it is soda water, it can give kind of a false positive um but i mean unless you are like literally sticking a glucose strip into the drink to see if it is diet or not then you know you never know um and then of course there has been situations where maybe somebody accidentally put a regular soda bladder into a diet soda dispenser it has happened but you know those situations are few and far in between So I play on the Gaia Data Center now. Oh, okay, Diamond. And I'm rushing to finish my Dragoon Resistance Weapon. Still going through those 180 raids. Oh, God, I hated that so much myself, too. But, you know, you only have to go through that process once, and it makes it worth it when you finally get the Relic. And I'll be honest, I am not the hugest fan of the look and style of the Resistance Weapons once you do finish with them. Some of them are a little better than others, but... I feel like more so it's kind of for the principle than it is for the glamour for me at this point. What I would love to do as far as weapons that look pretty amazing is I would love to go and finish all the Eureka Elemental ones. Especially the armor. The armor that you can get out of Eureka, the Relic armor is pretty, pretty. Yes, love it. Why did you just describe the plot to Kingdom Hearts? Oh gosh. I mean, Square Enix, hello. Might be working in a couple of weeks, and I'm learning Norwegian. Oh, that's cool. Three months now. And then you'll beg for it to happen again with expansions. <laughs> Messages of pure and simple. Yes, Chaos has the, the exact synopsis of the pain that we love to go through. Clip incoming. Who opened the can of knock -a worms <laughs> Look, look. I'm sorry. I'm excited. We have a bunch of new stuff coming in at the turn of the new year. And I, I'm ready. Ready for everything we've got going on. Ironically, Black Coffin is closed this weekend for remodels. Oh, okay, yeah, so it looks like a few different places are going through the whole remodel thing here. I'm supposed to be doing idle cam, and I'm not paying attention. Trying to also learn Savage Raids 2. Currently progging through the Eden 10 Savage for my gear. Nice. I need to go into... The, the last tier of Eden as far as the Savage content goes. I think I did the first eight Savages, Eden 1 through 8 S, uh, but I haven't done last tier. Actually, no, I've only done the first four because I haven't done Light Rampant as everybody talks about. 
still haven't finished finished a Eureka weapon. Me either. I've got like my one white mage relic that I've got maybe three quarters of the way done. I still don't even have access to the very final Eureka uh, stage area yet. I'm so ashamed of myself having actual content in the game that I've not yet completed. But I just, ugh, I hate Eureka so freaking much. I still need 40 dying memories for Gunbreaker Relic. Yeah, those memories suck. I hear E12S is a long fight. I enjoy the long fights. That's actually one of the reasons why I want to get into doing one of the ultimates, or if not all the ultimates, um, at some point or another. But especially as busy as my schedule is, and the fact that I would need a dedicated group to progress through one of the ultimates, I just, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Not yet, at least. You know, I'm still looking to be hiring additional people to help work at the Echoes Chamber because uh, we do need additional staff. Uh, and not only do we need staff... Oh, look, we got a Ustola in the house. Um, not only do we need some additional staff to kind of help fill in the gaps here and there, uh, but we're also going to be looking for management. Uh, we do need more managers in the house to help run for the nights um, that I'm not available um, and also to, to kind of help me pull away from the club a little bit so I can start working more on video production and doing other content in the game, um, if not also play some other games as well because I know my, uh, my Twitch career kind of needs me to play something a little more than Final Fantasy. But a lot of, lot of projects, a lot of things need to happen. Slowly, surely, we're getting there. I have Zeta and Resistance on Primal, Anima on Gaia, but no Eureka yet. Uh, I wish I, I could say that I had, like, different characters that had different achievements um, across data centers. But not with both the free company of the Order of the Echo, and then, of course, with the Echo Chamber, and my... Just no life Naka status when it comes to playing the game. Just my one solitary character on Fanfrit. It's all I've got. Remember me when you're looking for raiders. You'll know I'll either heal or TPS. I got you, Effie. My own clone on E10S kills me more than the boss himself does. Oh no! I'm doing my best impression of the Fisher quest giver in the Crystalline Mean. Drake, I'm concerned. To be such a simple mechanic, the shadow clones are just beyond difficult, it seems. I've heard that when people talk about the, the savage content. Concerned? Why concerned? Drake, everything you do concerns me. What is the song? Christian Horn Bolstal Club mix. Okay. Not sure what's going on with that. Nobody else. It's a dress up as character from the game, right? And the Roth there that does the Fisher quest is a Roth. I ran out of time trying to do a Runar outfit. Aww. <clears throat> Nobody else. What? No, that ain't right. My sensor must be malfunctioning. There is no way that my blood sugar is that low. Make sure my sensor isn't coming loose or something. Mm-mm. <laughs>
Push comes to shove. I got some strawberry jelly on my desk. I can just start shoving in my mouth. Damn you, Kitana Rabble, for dropping untradeable gear. Just, uh, give it to the grand company. Ooh, I'm sweating a little. You went full Yestola, didn't you? Yep, you sure did. Jack over here looking like he walked uh, straight up out of the the step here. Tram looks like a shadow assassin. Oh no, the the Dark Knight guy whose name is completely escaping me at the moment. Oh my god, I feel ashamed. Frey, thank you, Frey. Yes, Frey. <gasps> we have a Vivi. Where's Vivi? Ah, it's Vivi. Vivi with titties, but Vivi nonetheless. Sadly, I don't have Black Mage at all, or I'd SF too. <laughs> Aww. Yostolo wielding one of the, uh, the Hades, the Hades Black Mage staff, would be pretty awesome, just saying. Did y'all see the level 90 tome sets? I have not yet. Where was this posted? Was this a Twitter or like a Reddit feed? I don't remember it was a while back. They're supposed to be based on Final Fantasy IV characters. Oh, okay. Now, are you talking about like the gear sets that they were showing during the live letter? I mean, granted, they were like on paper as Yoshi P was trying to hold them up to a camera. So not the best perspectives. Can we get her staff? That's actually a good question. I don't know if the staff that Yustola specifically has herself is one that's available. I mean, first and foremost, I've never had a female character, um, except for when I was playing Beta, which was a female Makote. And I think that's because male Makote wasn't even an option back then. But um, I haven't checked out like the whole... Mog Station, Yastola options. I don't know. I was upset that I could not get the Kryle outfit. I wanted so bad to have that yellow Pikachu looking outfit that Kryle has, but you have to be female to wear it. Made me so mad that I could not purchase that. At least we got two scions tonight. I mean, Dragoons already look like Kane. Yeah, this is true. This is true. I was going to do a little bit more research to see if I could do a different character other than uh, Amaric, um, because I've done Amaric before with a previous event that we did, but I ran out of time. Fifty 
Fanta into Infamera. No. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I made like this, uh, unwritten promise to myself that I am hashtag catboy for life. And the only time I did ever Fantasia was because my catboy grew up and is now a cat man. So, Naka will not be anything other than feline. And male. I don't know, I just, I, I've never had the desire to play a female character, you know? Not when it comes to the, the games that do allow you customer character, characterization, at least. Uh, now, games like Tomb Raider, for example, oh my dear God in heaven, I would probably go straight for Laura Croft if I could ever meet, you know, the IRL facsimile of who Laura Croft is. But that's not an option. So... The current Lara has a great voice actor too. Are we talking about from the video game that they've been coming out with? The trilogy reboot. I have been really, really impressed with the most recent Tomb Raider games that they've been coming out with. I... Always been a fan of the Tomb Raider games ever since I first started getting into video games and I played my my first, like, I think it was Tomb Raider 2, if I remember exactly. You know, you know pyramid titties for days. It's about time. <laughs> I don't think it's too hard to change. Well, the only sad part about changing your Twitch name is trying to find the availability of what you want to change it to. I was lucky enough to grab my name like years and years ago and I never got rid of my Twitch account. So it's been Nakarumi since day one. Rise was the first Tomb Raider game I ever beat. Use this as an echo trap. No, not allowed. Um, I also really enjoyed playing... Tomb Raider, I think it was Tomb Raider 4, where it was episodic, where you did, like, a chapter out of Laura's history, you did a chapter from her recent past, uh, you did a chapter, which I think was, like, the last chapter of her distant future, where she had to, like, infiltrate this high-tech corporation or whatever. I really had a lot of fun playing that particular Tomb Raider. You've never played a single one in your life? Oh my gosh! I love her game so much. You should definitely, if you can get your hands on one, I would definitely recommend trying to give it a play. Um, I've also been a huge fan of, like, Assassin's Creed, for example. Just the whole, like, kind of parkour, exploration, um, reconnaissance, kind of, almost uh, to the effect where you have to sneak around a little bit. Just all these kind of effects, I love them so much. You've been playing Tomb Raider on stream? Oh, that is awesome! Yes! I haven't had a chance to play, like, the most recent one or anything lately, but I have seen, like, some highlights and advertisements, and I want to play them so bad. I, I feel like, at some point or another, I'm gonna have to either get my PlayStation fixed and or upgrade to a PlayStation 5, just so I can have a console available to play these console games that have come out i want to play the most recent assassin's creed um what was it valhalla i think it was welcome in coco astra yes i could i could definitely see that being 
right up your alley, actually, with Tomb Raider. You're in a Discord server owned by the voice actor of Jonah? Oh, wow. That's impressive. I was answering a question in free company chat. I'm assuming somebody either just saw all the party finder or maybe saw heard a chat in town or something. And they're like, wait a second, isn't the echo, ch echo chamber our free company thing? Yes, it is. We're running the event right now. I'm actually really liking this music. <gasps> A legit Tataru! Yes! The postwoman. Bugs. <laughs> Poor Drake. He couldn't handle. He overloaded. <laughs> Super Scooper Guy has arrived. In his usual attire. Oh my god, it's actually getting really warm in my room. For the first time in this entire season, I finally had to pull out my space heater um, because it's getting so cold outside. But I guess now with me both streaming and running the game and have all the lights on, it's actually getting pretty warm in here. Quick, Naka, use LB4. Can we please, like, maybe have an upgraded version or a new and improved form of Limit Breaker for our upcoming expansion? Please and thank you. Which, as a, you know, kind of added disclosure to that, I do not want to add any additional workload to what Square Enix is already trying to do with Final Fantasy XIV. They've <laughs> already got their plates full and then some. Uh, but still, I would love to see either just you know super saiyan level four uh for our limit breaker or something of the sorts that would be pretty cool still 21 raids to clear before i can even get the upgrade step oh no needs lb Nyan to be res wait what being able to do trials with my trust party will be good enough for me. That's, I think that's a really awesome benefit that they're going to be introducing to the game. Especially for like those hours of the day when there's not a lot of people in the matchmaking system. and But there's still content that you want to tackle. And you have to have a party in order to do it or to get through it. Uh, having the trust system be able to make up for that difference I think is a ingenious idea. A res by a cat. Yeah, Drake. I love you. And I hate you at the same time. <laughs> Naka, I've only used LB3 once in my entirety of playing. And that was during Seed of Sacrifice. Oh my gosh. Now, is that specifically as, as, as which class? Because usually LB3 ends up going to a melee 
95% of the time. The other 5% is usually healers and uh, tanks for specific mechanics or, you know, clutch moments in time. Just open trust up to everything. <laughs> They'll probably definitely look into expanding its capability and, and what it can and cannot do. Uh, now, I know that they're probably also taking it with a grain of salt where they don't want it to replace uh, being able to go into uh, certain instances, dungeons, and raids with people. Like, this is... At its core, a massively multiplayer online game. Therefore, it is meant and designed to be played with other people. But, kind of like I just said, especially for those instances and those times where people are just not available, or if you're not able to find people that are interested in doing certain content with you, then it is very beneficial to be able to have that option to go in with trust. Knock a mess, strangle Drake. You do not need my permission to do anything to Drake. <laughs> I was like, I'm not sure what adjective I want to use for the rest of this sentiment here. Can you out damage my heels at the den? I feel like whenever you're fighting a healer, like on a one-on-one -on -one match, it's, it's kind of like a stalemate because the healer's never going to be able to do enough damage to kill their opponent. And then at the same time, because of, or depending on just, you know, how good they are at using their abilities and skills, um, nobody's going to be able to put out enough DPS to counteract the heals of the healer. So unless there is a bit of luck involved or skill where you're using some form of crowd control uh, to basically negate their ability to keep themselves alive or negate the other person's ability to continuously do damage to you then there's just it's just gonna be a stalemate so an a12 in for paladin when on gaia i went to pop my lb3 and never heard the sound effect go off until my animations went off. Oh god. Thought you missed it and wiped the party. Oh, there's been moments when I was trying to do an LB3 as a healer and I thought that was the case. And I know positionals. Fuck you, I got a gun blade. So do I. Y'all need help. I have a bow. And I know how to play music. I'm on my bard right now. Uh, da -da -da -da. Sorry. Somebody was saying that they were clocking in. Let me make sure I got them documented. My computer is going kind of slow. This message, edit. I'm gonna throw in Takashi. Takeshi. I keep always saying it wrong. Drink. I, I think all my tea's gone, so we're gonna we're gonna revert to the uh, Mountain Dew. Yep, that's what I thought. My sensor is having technical difficulties. I knew my blood sugar wasn't that low. We'll give it a little bit of time, see if it can fix itself. Oh, he is Grahatia. Um, oh, what was Grahat's, um... Oh my god, what did they call him before we knew it was, uh, Graha. The Crystal Exarch, thank you. I, I was about to say it was the Crystal something.
Wow, my fingers are not wanting to type. I need to start reading themes before I come here. <laughs> yeah, hopefully once we kind of get um, more... What's the word I'm looking for here? I guess once we just get everything ironed out about who we've got doing what responsibility-wise for the club, um, as far as planning out future events, making sure... Uh, websites and web pages are updated and just kind of getting into the flow of things because we are changing a lot as we go into the next couple of months here um, we'll have everything posted more so ahead of time but yeah I, I made sure to update the website tonight well before we opened I guess Dark Knight ain't got enough edge to beat the heels Drake no go away I did drink. I drank the, the Mountain Dew. Or did I say I was going to drink the Mountain Dew and didn't drink it? I don't know. I was thirsty anyway, so that happened. Oh my god, I shouted that. Uh, that was not meant to be in shout. Oh my god, no. I meant to say that in Link Shell. Crap. I am pretty. I am. I am so pretty. How much have I been drinking? <laughs> Cry. Oh, speaking of advertising, is my party finder still active? It is not. Ooh, it is warm in here. You're Bahamut. You know, that works. Except you're more of an uh, eggy rather than primal. Drake, you need, you better stop lying. I know I took a drink that time. My DPS cues seem to be quicker than my tank cues recently. That actually really surprises me. I kind of figured some people would go with the mindset that since the next two new classes is going to be a healer and a DPS, that tanking would be the surefire way to go, since they would be in high demand. But, uh, yeah, no. The tanks are not nearly uh, going as hard as I thought they would. People seem to be straying more away from... Um, DPS, actually. Either that or everybody's working on, like, their secondary classes, um, other than their DPS mains now. I see you, Drake.
I have noticed in Duty Finder that I've been seeing a lot more red icons as for the adventure in need. More so than I used to seeing blue and green all the time. Have y'all seen Joe Cat's new crap guide? Ah, uh, I've seen it posted in like three different Discord servers thus far, and I still have not actually watched it yet. I need to. I really, really need to. I just always get so sidetracked. No, I am not. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, we could actually do that and just kind of do it more so as like a, a video review. That way we don't have to worry about it being like, you know, copyright issue. Yeah, like you said, watch party. All right, I've ne okay, so this would be my first time doing a watch party. Hang on. I gotta figure out how to do this. I've never done it before. Oh my god, my stream manager is taking five years to load. Twitch, for the love of God, please work with me. Oh, this is only with Prime. Okay. All right, so that's not going to work the way I wanted it to. So we're just going to do this a little bit differently then. I see you, Amazon. I see what you're trying to do. Get people to watch Prime Video on your Amazon service here. To make this easier for me, so I don't have to go digging through like three different Discord channels, can somebody post me the uh, link? Um, or if you can't post the link in chat, you can whisper it to me as well. Uh, but provide me with the link to that video. Thank you, Drake. Awesome. All right. I'm going to pause the music. You're going to turn on the display for my monitor here. There we go. And we're going to drag this over. Oh my god, pause. Why was that so difficult? Alright, rewind. And turn the volume up, because that was like impossible to hear. Naka's gonna die laughing. Probably. This is, this is what's gonna happen here. Let me hide some of the elements off my screen. We're gonna hide the tip jar, follower. We're gonna hide... I have so many elements on my screen. Hide this. Gonna hide this, 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 and this. Okay, there we go. Just my face. That's all we got now. All right. Oh my god.
Why is his videos always so funny? This episode, DPS. Truth. This is true. Pew pew. What? Oh my god. Oh, GCDs. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes, Marsha. Okay, okay. I'm going to pause the video right there at that moment in time where he said, Read your tooltips. I cannot tell you how mad it makes me when I try to help people learn their abilities and their rotations and especially the ones that complain so much about I don't know how to play my class because it starts off at level 50. I have so many buttons and I am so lost. If you would literally take the five minutes, you can do it in five minutes or less to simply read the text that is in the tooltips of your skills, your spells, and your abilities. It will simply spoon feed you how your progression of abilities work. All you have to do is read. I feel like there is this epidemic of just cutscene skippers that are so just 
anti-reading everything. They don't want to read speech bubbles. They don't want to read active help. They don't want to read tooltips. They don't want to read anything that is considered to have the 26 characters of the alphabet in it. And they just skip right through everything and assume that, hey, I don't have to read jack shit. I should just automatically know how to play everything and be the master of anything and everything in this game without reading. Anyways, let's continue. Amen. Cheese puff. They're everywhere! Shia LaBeouf, just do it! Death becomes you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that that was that that was our educational moment. Naka's rant brought to you via our TED Talk today. I have done none of my advertisements in like the past 10 minutes, so yeah, we're gonna do one now. Uh... Now to turn on all of my stream elements again. Oh my god, so many buttons I have to push again. Ah, uh... tip jar, following goal. Turn off this one. Change your costume. Oh, is that when you changed to the little... Oh, no, no, no. You're a Namazu now. Much more befitting. Guy, you look like you could use an accessory. Here, have this table salt. Get into this... Be Wait, what? What? Drake. Do I need to call the police? Oh no, Daddy, I'm scared. No. Hello, police. All right. 
So we're gonna we're looking at the time being about 10:30 Eastern time right now. Uh, so we are an hour and a half away from doing our small little costume competition that we're gonna have going on, where with anybody who does want to volunteer at the time, uh, we're basically going to do a little bit of a showcase of anybody that wants to um, participate or submit themselves to being part of the cost costume, if I can speak English, costume competition. Uh, basically, we're going to showcase the people who want to actually compete with each other on stage, and we're going to allow everybody else in the club to kind of vote and or, you know, cheer, say something, and uh, we're probably going to either do shout chat or yell chat to kind of vote on who they think should be the winner of the competition. Um, it is going to be based on crowd favorite, so it is going to be up to the public to decide who wins, uh, but the winner of our competition is going to get a... Um, kind of a voucher for free VIP services, which allows them free access to anything from the bar um, and or our services for an entire night. Uh, so any night of their choosing that we are open, they can redeem this voucher and they will get the VIP treatment for that entire evening. There's a competition? Me, 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 me. Yeah. So we'll, we'll be doing that in roughly about an hour and a half. Uh, so, you know, stay tuned. We will be talking about it a little bit more as we get closer. Squirts water on Drake. Bad. Out of nowhere. Okay. No, it's, it's whatever that you were just thinking about. That's the reason why you got squirted with water. That's why. No context needed. Hour and a half, that's past my bedtime. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be midnight Eastern time. Uh so that's when we're gonna do the competition right around midnight. As all the Cinderellas turn into pumpkins. Thinking that Celine is going to win. I mean, Yashtola kind of has the majority of the popularity contest, to be quite honest. How could you not love Yashtola? But at the same time, we also got a Tataru in the house. So, you know, if I if I had to throw my vote into the mix, as it stands right now, Tataru kind of has my vote. Just saying. The Dark Knight Tataru, even. Spent all day watching Arcane. Arcane is so good. Uh, speaking of Arcane, their their last three most recent episodes just came out today. I have not seen the last three episodes. I have not had the opportunity to sit down and watch it today. Uh, but I am super excited to see these uh, last three episodes that just came out. The first six are phenomenal. I've never played... Well, let me rephrase that. I've played League of Legends, but I've never gotten into League of Legends. So actually having a show based on the the concept and the lore of the game is actually pretty cool, first and foremost, that, you know, we're getting, like, animations and TV shows based on video games now. Uh, but it also adds a lot more insight into the world of League of Legends and these histories and stories from the legends of... The, or the heroes of the game. I hope I win more now. <laughs> Might be between Tataru and Yastola. I could see that. I could definitely see that. I mean, Gaig would also have a pretty good chance just based on um, shits and giggles.
One second, I need to find a timestamp on something here. Okay, there we go. That's what I needed. You mean originality? Oh, goodness. I, I mean, hey, that could be a, a factor. That could be in uh, consideration here. Which of these tank achievements gets you the mount? If you look... A tankless job or tanky paladin. Um, there's actually two. Uh, Because there, there's the, the regular war lion, and then there is the armored war lion so it may be both of them i don't know the exact titles off the top of my head um but there's two different achievements that get you the mount because there's the regular and then there's the armored where is achievements right here at the bottom uh let's see Go to display filter categories. All right, so there is, but somebody's got to do it, Paladin. That gets you the War Lion. And then there should be another one that gets you the Armored War Lion. Thank you, Paladin 3. That gets you the Armored one. I can't even find what heading it's under. Uh, so it's going to be under the battle category, under the battle sub tag. And it's about uh, kind of halfway down the list here. You found it? Okay. I'm working on all my tank mounts as well. Currently trying to get my gunbreaker one because I want that tiger so bad. Uh, are you talking about commendations? I was about to say, it's not 10,000, because dear God, I've been playing the game since day one and have ba barely just got over 10,000 myself. Yeah, I'm only at 10,074 at the moment. Which is a lot. I do want to get the mount uh, for the mentor roulette, but I forget how many mentor roulettes you have to do to get the mount. I know it's a lot, like a lot, a lot, it's like 500 or something. Oh God, 2000, <laughs> four times more than what I just guessed. Uh, I have nowhere been even close to doing the mentor roulette as often and as much as I would like to. Because I'm usually so busy working on other stuff. And it's hard to multitask doing Mentor Roulette. Because nothing else... You can't get any qualification for anything else by doing it. Other than like your daily tones and stuff. Jesus, Drake. You got way up there. I'm gonna wait for Sage and spam E12N with it for the commands. <laughs> yeah, the, the best way to get commendations is to 
basically kind of go into content as a healer or tank, in my opinion. I wouldn't really say one or the other gets more in terms of um, commendations go, but your interactivity and your kind of engagement with people when you go into content and like anything with Duty Finder, um, the better impression that you leave on them when you go into the dungeon or instance, the more likely it is you'll get the commendations. Because I work and roleplay, so does Naka. Naka's also been playing this game since beta and pretty much lives his entire life in Final Fantasy, so... <laughs> yeah, exactly! But I had to put in the time and the work for all of mine. Oh god, Kate Westwind. Ooh, mercy. It's really warm in here. Waiting for the queue? I'm not... <laughs> you're not even queued. Oh, God. Isn't that a horrible feeling when you think you've been queued for just X amount of time, only to realize that you were queued for jack shit? I absolutely hate it. Hate it when that happens. <clears throat> oh, we got an actual fray in the building. Tram has competition. Fray esteem of the swirling abyss. What's the search info say? Local, if I can keep my mouse on it, local self-care demon, male wife. Okay. I, look, your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. Should we look up male wife on Urban Dictionary, see what it says? Male wife, as defined by Urban Dictionary. A man who acts as a wife and is... Oh, goodness gracious. A man who acts as a wife and is inferior to his hashtag girl boss girlfriend. I.E. I just got myself a male wife. He's going to clean my kitchen and watch me download custom, custom content for The Sims. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is this conversation? I don't even... What? Okay. I, I don't... A man who is wife-like, acting as the submissive partner in his relationship. Okay, I really don't like how it compares wife being the, like, submissive partner, but Urban Dictionary. Often used along with the term girl boss. I once waited two hours for a queue. Ooh, that's rough. I waited half an hour for Kate Westwind before. That's also rough. So the men Helena deems worthy to date her. Well then. I waited three hours for Shiva Extreme once before. I knew it was pointless queuing for Extremes. Ooh, back when I was a ba uh, garbage dragoon. Dragoon, our floor tanks. Ain't no man worthy. 
Hey, that's fine by me, you know, let me... <laughs> All the men you don't want means more for me. Naka needs a desk fan. Oh my god, it is hot. And all the women you don't want means more for me. There you go. See, it's a mutual benefit. It works in our favor. <laughs> Cries in hetero. That <laughs> guy just gets shit. See the description to man wife. Girl boss just sounds like someone who tries to sell MLM products, though. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I have both bought and sold Amway products that are actually pretty fucking phenomenal. Uh, their Legacy of Clean, which is, I know, called something completely different nowadays, but back in the day, uh, when they were called Legacy of Clean, they actually had some really good shit. Honey, I'm the Dom. I always wear the pants. <laughs> Anyone playing the Final Fantasy remasters? My boyfriend is actually. You're talking about the Pixel remaster, right? I don't think he's in the channel anymore uh, because he did have plans of going out uh, for this evening. Uh, so he's probably not in chat at this point. But Chaos Algorithm, who was talking earlier, uh, that's my boyfriend, by the way. Uh, he's got the remaster. Um, I stayed over at his house during the first weekend that he had bought it and watched him play. Was it the first one? Whichever one has chaos in it. Um, and it was actually really, really fun to watch him play the, the Pixel remaster. I enjoyed it. Tequila Shots has been playing some on stream. Either up or finished five so far. Final Fantasy 1 has chaos. Okay, so yeah. It was it was uh, Final Fantasy 1 that he was playing that weekend I stayed over at the boyfriend's. Dream. Oh, y'all missed it. Uh, was it last night or the night before? I don't know. Um, I had me a whole bottle of wine. Mm. It was a great time. Actually, actually, hold up. Hold up a second. Let me pull up my calendar. I don't think I have to work tomorrow. If I can find which Chrome tab my schedule's on. You know what else has chaos? Echoes Chambers Triple Triad. <laughs> I've seen it in the announcements. <laughs> there you go. There you go. 
how pretty was Naga? Okay, Naga wasn't pretty, but I do not have to work tomorrow. If if we wanted to break out the wine, since I feel like I was never able to bring out the drinks on stream, we could totally do that. Now here's here's the caveat. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out a, a, a Tia from Role Players on this one. I've only got one bottle of wine left. So if we want to see Naka get pretty toasty. I'm going to need a bottle to replace the one I'm going to be spending. So if we can at least get, it would, ha it would either be, let's see, I'm trying to do math here in my head real quick. So it would take two, four, four, okay, yeah, that's right. I, I'm completely just brain not working. I would need to get either four subscriptions to buy a bottle of wine or a donation of $10. If we can get either or four subscriptions or gift subscriptions and or a $10 donation, I will bring that whole bottle of wine out and we will finish it before the end of tonight and we will have a drinking stream. Hashtag adult novelty happening right now. <laughs> Gag's like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, this could be trouble. <laughs> and then we can talk about my favorite bottle of wine that I always buy every time I go out to the, uh, the wine store. If it happens, I'll break out the scotch. There you go. We've already got two people saying that we will do drinks if we can get those four subs or $10 in donation. One or the other. And it wouldn't even have to be like a $10 donation to the stream directly. It could be to the uh, PC upgrade fund. So that way it can actually <laughs> go towards something practical if we want to do it that way. Take shots of fuzzy navels. I've never had a fuzzy navel, actually. Take shots at Anaka's <laughs> There's your fuzzy navel. No. Could you imagine if somebody who was allergic to cats took a, uh, a body shot off a of Rothgar? Just the utter catastrophe that would happen or ensue afterwards. We would have to bring an EpiPen. Stormblood raids are popular this morning. Are we talking about the, uh, the Ivalice ones? Like, uh, the Lighthouse and Oribon Monastery. And, uh, what was the other one? Rabinaster. Oh, Omega. Okay, sorry. I thought Alliance Raids when you said Raid at first. No, it was brown. Wait, what was brown? Oh, oh, talking about what Drake said. That one was gold. No, it was brown. Well, on that brown note. Oh my goodness, y'all need help. Do you know Lahi? Where's my sound clip? 
There we go. Are you going to play Lahi? I did. I did. And if we can either get uh, that donation of $10 and, or, or I keep saying and, or the four subscriptions and or gift subscriptions, uh, we going to get sloppy tonight. Now I'm just being cheesy. Maka's drinking too much caffeine. My hands are shaking. We're going to switch back over to water. Wow! I take your your anime girl wow and raise you with a Anna, Anna. with her Ida cosplay. Now she needs is just the uh, the Reaper scythe and that really long brimmed hat. And did you say Ada Ada? Not me personally, but you know. Anna, Anna. The oh my. Now, if you're talking about the George Sakai oh my, uh, you know. Oh my. There you go. That's like a staple. You have to have that if you have a soundboard. It's like the unwritten mandatory one to have. Yes, that, that is Mr. Sulu. George Sakai is Mr. Sulu. Put it on the bit list. I would have to go back and find the source file for it, uh, but I totally could. So what counts as high level duties for the achievement? Ooh, I think that is technically anything 70 plus, if I'm not mistaken. I think. do it you won't oh it's, it's definitely not the fact that i wouldn't do it I, I just have to track it down um let me pull up sound bits first and foremost or not sound bits, sound alerts dun, 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 dun. go to my extensions I have so many tabs open. Ooh, Sound Alerts has a Discord server now. Okay.
Okay, we're gonna go to our sound alerts sound library. We're, we're gonna do a, a search for Oh My and see if they already have it in the database. Perfect, they already have it. All right, so we can add this sound. We'll just make it like 50 bits, something cheap. All right, it should now be added to the list. Oh my, has been added to sound alerts. Coco Lada. Oh, is that a Coco's alt? The only question is. Air. Coco, I'm gonna have to get your all added to my friends list. It will make it so much easier to just mail these paychecks to you. <laughs> Waiting on your paychecks. Oh, my God. Now my blood sugar's gone in the other direction. Whoa, wait, hold up. There's something wet in my pocket. Is that insulin? Don't know where that came from, but okay. Drink. My hand smells like insulin now. Oh, um, Coco, speaking of um, money, though, with the... Amount that I still owe you in the ledger, because uh, you actually, from the one night uh, that you had left early and I didn't get a chance to pay you, um, you have close to like 500k. Did you want me to give that to your alt to, you know, get them up on their feet with the gill and whatnot? Because that's a, you know, a good chunk of change right there.
If you're still with us in the stream, that is. We are less than an hour away before we do our competition. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and put that in my notes. So that way I can make sure I do get that to your alt then. Let's see, Coco Lada. <clears throat> there we go all right perfect so i'll just add your your total for tonight uh in the ledger all together and uh if and when i can get that character added to my friends list or if i just run into you online with it then i'll make sure you get it Frey esteem has died oh no where is Frey? Where did they die? Are they upstairs? Let's unload these poetics. Oh, I have to keep reminding myself to like double check how many tomes I have. Otherwise, they'll be maxed out for like three weeks and I won't even realize it. Free gearing for the level the, 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 the words are hard. Level seventy dancer. Not a bad idea. I always do enjoying that when it goes to like leveling up your uh secondary classes, just being able to go straight to a vendor and buy like a full set of maximum I item level gear for that level set. So, like, as soon as you hit that level 60 or that level 70, you put on all that gear and your item level shoots up like 100. That makes sense. I got you. <laughs> Too many poetics, I know, right? With all the poetic overflow I get, um, I always spend it on um, buying those unidentified shells from the old relic quest. And then I turn around and trade those unidentified shells in for, like, um, what is it called? The, uh, the Black Shroud Soil. You can buy Grade 3 Shroud Soil for gardening uh, with those unidentified shells. Also, if you buy Unidentified Ore, you can get Thavnarian Grade 3 Soil, if I'm not mistaken. It's a great way to spin your poetics on something uh, constructive. Although lately I've been spending my poetics on buying the Realm Reborn Zodiac books, the Atma books, uh, or not Atma books, whatever they were called, uh, in order to get some of my old, old relics. I'm working on Dragoon right now to get the gay blog. I think it's called gay blog. Is that right? Gay bulg. Do they sell on the market board? Yes. Yes, they do. I don't know how much they go for because I actually keep and hold on to the soils uh, because we have a Thavnarian onion project that we do at our free company. Um, ooh, excuse me. But they do sell on the market board. Quite well, if I'm not mistaken. My market board project right now is shards. I have four separate retainers that is farming shards for me. Speaking of which, let me actually go to the summoning bell over here and double check. Um, 
that are just consistently getting me 360 um, or 320 fire shards every hour. What is it called again? For the soil or the, the item you need to trade in for the soil? The soil. It's grade 3 shroud soil or grade 3 thavnarian soil. Those are the two different ones that you can buy with Poetics. I don't know if there's anything you can do for a Linosian soil. I never bought Linosian soil before. There's Black Shroud and Thavnarian Soil, I think. Yeah, I think those are the only two that you can purchase with the unidentified relic pieces. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm getting people uh, wanting to join our uh, free company social media off to the side here. I can multitask. I got this. So, we do have a Facebook group for our free company, The Order of the Echo, um, which is simply, <clears throat> you know, facebook.com slash group slash Echonauts is what it's called. Uh, but recently, there's been a lot of Facebook bots or like spam accounts that have been trying to apply. So, I've made it mandatory where the application question has to be answered or the application will be denied um, and for some reason, there has just been a wave of bots trying to apply to our group for some reason. I don't know if there's just a rise in bots happening or what's going on there. Let's check the Gaia market for grade 3. Yep, it would be the grade 3 soil.
It is going to be either the Shroud or the Thavnarian. Those are the two that you can buy with the Poetic Tomes. Um, Shroud Soil is known for giving you more quantity whenever you grow something with Shroud Soil. Thavnarian Soil is meant to increase the chances of crossbreeding. Um, so that's used when you usually plant two or more plants beside each other and it's supposed to give you um, a byproduct item because you planted them beside each other. Uh, so a, a lot of people will use those like when trying to grow Thavnarian onions, for example, because uh, that's how you get seeds for those is by crossbreeding. Yep, it, the name for the items are so long that you kind of have to be specific. But if you just type, like Drake said, if you type in just grade three, it should at least on the market board pop up everything that qualifies under the grade three option. I love it when Makote boys do that. I just hop up on a seat and then ground sit. That's an intense face for a Makote. Oh my goodness. All I got is Linusian topsoil, Shroud topsoil, and Thanalan. Yep, so those would be the three, the three different types of soil. Um, and they do come in different grades. There's grade one, two, and three, but it's going to be the three that you're looking for. Like, I got a bunch of Shroud soil in my inventory somewhere. There it is, right here. Grade three Shroud topsoil. I could also go to our Discord bot and kind of do a market search for some of these. So like for a grade three shroud topsoil uh, on our data center, Primal, we're going to be looking at, yep, a little over a thousand each, a uh, thousand two hundred and sixty for the lowest price that you can buy on Primal. I don't think in our case it would help much for Diamond Dust here. Well, I'm I'm just looking at, as in comparison. I could easily tell Amrit to search on other data centers as well. So, like, if I say market Gaia for grade three shroud. Yep, there it is right there. On uh, the world server Rydeal, uh, it's 1.05k for the lowest price. Can I buy the stone and ore without the relic quest? I actually do not know, to be honest. Yeah, Gaia is cheaper on average. We got a soldier from Squid Game? Where? Ah, <gasps> oh, yes, we did! Baby Yoda. That is... Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That is a really close... Close competition for Tataru right there. Just saying. Love that outfit. 
Even though it's not a Final Fantasy character, but I'm just saying. Titicus over here just looking like a badass. Oh, Tiamat has the cheapest for, was it the Lenosian soil that you were looking at? I was looking at the Shroud soil. I like this song. We're about to uh, give this song a thumbs up. Oh, in your world, the Lenosian soil is the cheapest. Yeah, you don't see Lenosian go for much anyways, because the only thing Lenosian soil does is increase the quality of the product that you're getting. Um, so it, it just has a higher chance of being high quality, is all Lenosian does. And honestly, when it comes to the materials that you get from gardening in the first place, getting or needing high quality, you don't really need it. So Linosian's not all that practical compared to Shroud and Thavne or uh, Thanarian. Thanalan. I don't know why I kept wanting to say Thavnarian. Thanalan soil. Oh, I blinked and they're gone. Did they queue up for something? Speaking of Thavidare, I know. Oh, they're upstairs. Okay. I turned around for two seconds and they're gone. They're just like toddlers. I know I said I like this song, but it's really starting to get repetitive and it's kind of starting to grate on me a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. Either the chair or the turkey table. Oh, did Silver get uh, some turkeys out on the tables upstairs? Which, if you've noticed, we've actually reduced our furniture in the house getting ready for the remodel at the end of the year. Um, we don't have the, the long, elongated knights table with, with all the knights chairs around it anymore. We downsized uh, the grand dining hall table to, like, three individual picnic tables. Um... Which is a lot better, because, like, the two tables, the 12 chairs, and then everything that was on top of it uh, was a lot of slots that was occupying space that could be otherwise used in the house. Where the picnic tables and the chairs, they count as just one item altogether. So we literally only have three tables that have chairs automatically with them in comparison to, like, the 24 slots we were using for the entire grand table we had with chairs and items and plates and stuff. Uh, 
I think I have to pee again. Look, at, at the moment I said that, I was thinking in my head, you know, Drake's going to post the litter box command, which also made me think, and you know, I finally need to pull up Nightbot and think of something witty to put in chat for that. Naka's gone to bury his axe in the litter box. He shall return soon. Uh, not exactly what I came up with. But I did put the command in, so, you know, if you want to give it a shot and push the button and see what happens. My creative juices have run dry. And there you go. You have your litter box command. Are you happy? Soft clap. Soft clap. I'm very happy. <laughs> All right. Well, for real, I am going to do my little promo greeting since we are at the 1130 mark here. I am also going to go to the stream manager and do a three minute commercial break so I can actually get up and run to the restroom uh, to take care of nature, as one would say. Uh, we are also, with it being 1130, 30 minutes away from doing our costume competition. Um, so for those of y'all who are just watching and not in the house but wish to participate, uh, definitely make your way over to the Echoes Chamber as we're going to be preparing to do the competition at the midnight hour, start of the witching hour, as some would say. But I'm going to go use the restroom. I shall return shortly. Enjoy the commercial.
Oy vey, I has returned. Everybody, everybody, everybody wants to be a cat. Logzan, thank you for the follow. Even though I was, you know, in the restroom, I has returned. As I try to get comfy in my chair again. Now, when I say this, I mean this with like the unadulterated, unconditional love for this chair, especially in comparison to my last one. Um, in regards to a computer chair, this thing has been a blessing, has helped my posture, and is so much more comfortable than my last chair was. But I have, honest to God, been looking at some more office chairs I, is probably the word I should be using that are more like recliners than they are actual computer chairs because they look so comfy. Like the kind of chair that you could easily just lean back and completely pass the F out in. That will probably not be a luxury that I can afford for quite some time, but one can window shop and dream, right? Hey. I don't know what's going on with this song. <clears throat> oh, poor trick. I know the feeling, though. My previous chair was a, basically a second-hand give-me, or hand-me-down, and... First and foremost, was not designed for a person of my size, and it had so much wear and tear. It was literally sitting on top of, like, a pillow, several blankets, just so I could sit up high enough and comfortably enough in my previous chair. You're what, 90 pounds wet? No. <laughs> uh, add 100 and maybe, like, minus 30. 30 or 40, somewhere in that range. I'm actually over 150 pounds, or also, like, for the first time in my life recently, so... I'm getting there, slowly. I think age is finally starting to catch up and slowing my body down a little bit, so I'm actually able to keep some of the weight I've been able to put on. Just a little. Oh, God. Speaking of, like, weight and food, me and my boyfriend went out to eat the other night because uh, I had to go into town to go pick up my medications anyways. Um, and by the time that I went out to go pick it up, he was getting off of work. So it was kind of like, you know, while I'm out and about, might as well go visit him too. Um, but we went out to eat, and we went to one of our favorite restaurants, and I had this massive burger... Uh, ate a bunch of pasta salad, a whole entire pl plate full of just bacon cheese fries, um, and I had cheesecake that I completely demolished. Um, and if, like, if I wanted to, I probably could have helped my boyfriend finish his meal, too, at that point in time. I was so hungry, and I put away so much food in one sitting. It was not even funny. Cheesecake. Oh, it was so good, too. It had caramel drizzle all over the plate and all over the cheesecake, too. Oh. I hear... A land sorrel, but I do not see a land sorrel. They must be upstairs. Uh, if I still had the Koopa emotes, I'd be using the crying Koopa one right now. I wait. What you want? What Ches Cheskick? What is Ches? Oh, cheesecake. 
I got it. I got it. It took me a second. I had to go through the process. Somebody just now realized that there is a season two of Tiger King. And yes, for the record, there is a season two of the Tiger King that has just recently come out. And I am terrified to even look at it. I do not want to know where that god-awful show is going for season two. Heard it's bad. Like, just from the preview that I saw on the thumbnail for the Tiger King of whatever season two is, I just... I can't. I can't. There's no way it can be anything compared to what it was in season one. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just a follow-up to everything that has happened, like, after the fact. I don't want my husband hearing that. <laughs> it's just the same shit. I, I, yeah. Drama, drama, drama. Goes to tell him anyway because he loves seeing his husband suffer. No! Be right back with the results. Oh my gosh. One of the reviews I saw were Tiger King should have stayed in quarantine. Oh my goodness. Naka needs to get some more hats. This is literally the only hat I own. Period. I need to purchase one that's got my, my uh, logo on it. Now, truth be told, because of all the drama and... <laughs> again, we're going back to drama. Just talking about Tiger King here. Uh, but because of the or social responsibility choices that Streamlabs has made recently, which some of us has seen and followed on Twitter, um, I'm actually trying to get away from Streamlabs. So I'm going to be kind of redoing and resetting up some of my pages, like my tip and donation page and my merchandise page. Uh, I'm going to be going through Stream Elements uh, to reset those up now. Um, it's going to be a slow process. I got to kind of have to migrate everything over to a different platform, but I am going to be getting away from Streamlabs. Um, I did cancel my subscription with their Prime membership, uh, so I won't be able to use any of their, their Prime tools or resources that I was using previously. Uh, but as I have grown and kind of learned how to do a lot of my own designing and making up my logo and have learned how to do some photo editing and designing, um, I really don't need Streamlabs that much anymore. I don't use SLOBS. Uh, I use just open broadcasting software from their original source. So it is time to get away from Streamlabs. I've actually transferred most of the bot functions over from Streamlabs bot over to Nightbot as well. So Nightbot is going to be taking care of most of our commands. I just got to figure out how to do the donations and merchandising. Ooh, I just found Jesus on my computer screen. Oh my jeez.
<laughs> oh, speaking of stream elements, I forgot to mention this in one of the emails uh, that I got recently. Um, I've actually finally have maybe reached some level of degree of success because I have received a couple of sponsorship offers. Uh, like if I was to play Raid Shadow Legends, for example, um, or another one, Klondike, which I think is a card game, The Lost Expedition, um, I could actually earn money from playing their games and streaming my, my gameplay live. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking that as a sign of success that we are actually growing and, and doing something right that I'm getting sponsorship offers like that. I was really excited when I got that email. Get on up. Come on, get on up. Come on. I'm actually looking at the Stream Elements merchandising tool at the moment, seeing if it is something that is feasibly easy to kind of transfer from one location to another. Um, it looks like this is totally doable and actually wouldn't take very long at all. Come on, get on up. Oh, yeah. All I had to do was upload my logo, and it's like, yep, we can create shirts and coffee mugs, and I wonder if they have hats. They've got long sleeve t-shirts, zip-up hoodies, blankets. Uh, oh, my God, you can even get like, a phone case if you wanted to. Hoodies. But I don't see hats. Sad. I could get a phone case. They said they, said they got a Samsung phone case I could do for my cell phone, which is what I have is a, a Samsung. but they don't have hats, at least not yet. Why is my screen so bright? Results, he already knew, was watching him run Dalriada of 20 people. They ended off the raid with two people left alive. Oh my God. That's pretty impressive, especially for Dalriada, cause that shit gets crazy on that last fight. Like a bad shit crazy. Okay, so yeah. Just looking over everything, it looks like I would be able to transfer all my merchandise and my t donation and tip pages over to Stream Elements. Totally possible. Uh, so we can get away from Stream Elements here. Or, uh, Stream Labs. Words are hard. Words are hard. 
what is Dariada? Dariada is the final instanced quote unquote dungeon uh that you do in Zadnor for Bajja. It's kind of like uh the Baldesian Armory in Eureka a little bit. <clears throat> Yep. Now, if you've at least done the Southern Front, is is the Castrum in the Southern Front, or the Castrum is to the Southern Front as to what the Dalriada would be to Zadnor. <clears throat> yeah, Dalriada. Mm-hmm. Side note, we are 10 minutes away from starting our competition here with the costume contest, where the crowd favorite will be deemed the winner, uh, who will receive a voucher for free VIP services uh, to any night of their choosing at the Echo Chamber, which would mean free items, uh, whether it be drinks or food from the bar for the entire night, and or free access to our services as well. Um... And probably what I would personally, personally recommend is definitely holding on to that voucher until we do our full remodel uh, after the new year here where we're going to have expanded services and features that will be available after that time. Um, and of course that voucher would still be viable after the fact. Uh, but we will have our VIP section, a bigger casino with hopefully bigger and better games coming up soon. Um, as well as maybe a modified menu. Not entirely sure on that because we're trying to shrink our menu, not make it any bigger, but we'll see. Still in the works. Big exciting things to come in the future. And of course, we'll release information as we set more stuff into stone here. Can I ask what services apply? Uh, so what I will say in that regards, because uh, I also want to make sure that we are in compliance with all terms of service that is mandated by Square Enix for their game of Final Fantasy XIV, is, hang on, I have like 50,000 Google tabs I have to go through to find what it is I'm looking for here. La 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 la, almost world. All right, here we go. All right, so this is our uh, novelty services that we do offer at the Order of the Echo. Uh, it is geared and aimed toward a mature crowd, so please make sure to wear, read all disclaimers, policies, and procedures that is listed at the beginning of that website. And if you can agree and acknowledge to those, then that means that you're definitely welcome to those services within the venue of the Echo's Chamber. But that would be all of our services that we do offer at the time here at our venue. Am I and other employees of my services applied to this? Is what I'm trying to ask. Wait. Try to clarify the question. What do you mean? And said winner, use it for the gamba. I mean, yes, but when it comes to gambling, your winnings is dependent on the bet you make. So if you're trying to use a voucher for a free game, that's kind of a waste because if you're not putting any money down, that means that there's no money to be gained. So... No. <laughs> that would be a complete waste of using a voucher. I mean, if they want to play free games for n nothing in return, by all means, go for it. I'm not going to say no to that. Yeah, that that's why I was like, can can you clarify? or kind of 
enunciate exactly what it is you're 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 asking or elaborate rather in place of lost bets no um so th that would you can't use a voucher in returns to gain back anything that you lost um that's that would be a refund not a voucher can't sell your voucher either that would be like taking a coupon to the store and be like if i give you this coupon could you just give me cash instead they're gonna look at you like you cr absolutely lost your mind And all of a sudden, I'm I'm reminded of arguments of when people were taking like Burger King coupons to McDonald's and trying to use that as a means of getting a free sandwich. Which, in some cases, some stores would actually let you do that as a form of like competition. They'd be like, "Hey, yeah, we'll take a competitor's coupon, so you come here instead of going there." Some places will do that. Some places won't. Yeah. But there's not a lot of, like, places of business in the realm of Eorzea that really offers coupons or vouchers that I'm aware of that would even present a competitive market to use said coupons or vouchers at a different venue. Kind of completely loses its value at that point. Excuse me. Yeah, no, that just what's your what you're stating. I, I don't see how that would make any sense to do something of that nature. I am on usually I'm on this corner of the stage. I don't know why I gravitated toward the other side. I would assume if it were possible, it don't, oh, I already read that. So if you were to allow it, I wouldn't wager more than five bets per voucher. Uh, I, I would almost put that in the same context of saying, you know, I give you five Allegan silver pieces that you can use as a bet in place of actually betting your own gill, um, which in essence is still the same thing as just using currency, but it would be an item instead of actual gill, which is still a fair trade-off either way, because even if we end up with the item and we give them gill, we can sit there and take the Allegan pieces to, you know, Kugani and get double his value. Which is actually what I do every week. I have a, a stash of, um, Allegan Platinum pieces, and I'll take two of these every week. I'll go to the Dome and Enclave and trade them into the donation vendor and get 40000 for those two Allegan pieces once every week. So by the time, which this is going to take several weeks, we're talking about 34 weeks worth of trading in these Platinum pieces um, from today. But, uh, 
you know, I'm getting double the return of what these are worth in PC value. So. Almost a year? No, 34 weeks and a year. It, it takes 50, what is it, 52 weeks to be a year. Uh, so with 34, you're talking about a little over six months. Maybe like seven, eight-ish. Well, let's see. 52 uh, is 26 at the halfway mark. So it would take 30... 34. 34 is eight months, which is four months shy of a year. So that's a whole quarter. So you're talking about three fourths. Oh. Did I do that wrong? Shit. Okay, so a third. <laughs> so two thirds, not three fourths. Naka can't do math and multitask at the same time. This is why I'm dating a mathematician. The hour has arrived! Last chance to enter. Ah, oh, I probably should have waited to either do this earlier or later on tonight. I was about to say midnight's usually like a transition hour for West Coasters here. Drake dashes on stage, panting, I'm here. Choosing between two people is boring. No, not really. I mean, it's like battle to the death. It's a sudden death match or something. Well, I was about to say, we're we're in that pre-patch lull uh, where everybody's waiting for Endwalker and they're either not playing, working on progressing last minute stuff before the expansion comes out, um, and or they're new players or refugees from another game who's currently just trying to get through main story content. So regardless of whether it's a Monday, Tuesday, or Saturday, we've been slow because of this Pre-patch lull. It happens every time. Every time. Never fails. The whole competition was kind of just a, a means of drawing some people out of the woodwork here. If I can have each one of you do a slash random for me. Gag won the roll.
What kind of voice was that? Good question. I don't even know myself. I'm just happy to be here with y'all. Oh, my poor little fuzzy heart. So yesterday, an FC member wanted help with Woke Road. Oh god, we have to explain. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not asking for like an in-depth emotional TED talk over here. I'm just asking, you know, what the fuck are you wearing and why did you choose it? <laughs> Summon your inner Grult. Oh god, help us all. Catfish. Superior fish, Namazoo's catfish. Oh god. There you have it, folks. Catfish. Who thinks they're better than everyone else? Ah, oh, didn't even spell a name right. Drake, your turn! We couldn't find a group for O2N, so we went in as a duo unsynced. Oh god, 71 and 80. Lord have mercy. She died early in the fight, so me on Paladin spent 20 minutes just slowly stabbing the boss. Oh no! That reminds me of some like old school unsynced, um solo acts I tried to do with, like, Sophia back in the day. Drake is a culinarian from the Crystarium Mean. Known well for their catfish cuisine. <laughs> Gags in danger. He will, uh, soon be a main entree. <laughs> I need help. I didn't know I rhymed that line. You were a poet and didn't even know it. And there you go. Trying to help someone get Sephiroth bird, and they killed me more than Sephiroth did. Oh, Jesus Christ. Our own crafting cat from the Crystarium. That's not how you spell Crystarium. Who specializes in cooking catfish. 
seems to be an ongoing theme here. Next we have... Eileen. Tell us about your outfit and why you chose it. Boom. I'm I'm kind of like mentally eating my popcorn right now, thinking with Celine cosplaying as Yastola, like what would Yastola say in this situation? I better be careful with three cats surrounding him. As a fish! I will fight you all off. <laughs> I have your scent. Drake's been sniffing fish. I just realized how bad that could sound under the wrong context. Your rune crafting here? <gasps> Luxon, hello. <laughs> that that concern face. <laughs> mm, mm, about that. I'm still trying, give me a minute. Yeah, you're good, you're good. I figured this was gonna be a lengthy description. We're ready. Got long nails. That does make typing hard. Not that I would, you know, specifically know and able to relate, but. I've been judging this bar the whole time, so this is how the scions relax. <laughs> this is how Yustola blows off steam. Amrick's here running the show, of course. <gasps> You're the Tataru! Yes! We're not spending all the, the Scion's money, I promise, I swear. Alright, here we go, here we go. 
I am one of the Scions of the Dawn, gifted student of Master Matoya and mistress of the Black Arts. I often help and guide the Warrior of Light through her trials and give her information on what she may need in the oncoming, the, the, the oncoming battles. Although we do enjoy tea from time to time while theory crafting, she smirks with a calculating gaze. Quick question, Helena. Was that the end of it, or is there still more to come? Because I know there's a character limit. I will tell Cryo, no! Cryo will fuss the hell out of somebody. And make them cry. Just a bit more. Okay. I just wanted to double check before I say anything. I love, love paragraph responses. They make me excited. Sadly, I am not a good tattoo. My carbuncle. <laughs> No. Bless her heart. I, I felt so bad for poor little Tataru during that part of the story quest when she actually tried to be, you know, like a discipline of battle and be a participating part of the the gang and the crowd of everybody. I am Yustola Rule at your service. She bows. There we have it, folks. We have all three competitors here on stage and all have given their introductions. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Do I want to do this in tells or just have people shout out who they think should win? We'll do it this way. We'll do tails. Put myself right in front of the DJ stand. Everybody can just slash tail, send me a message of who they think should win. And we'll count up the totals here shortly. Yeah, I, di I didn't want to put anybody on the spot by doing like a shout or yell of who they think they should win. So we'll, we'll do tails. Now, if will allow, I meant to say now will allow. No, you can't see my messages. All of my, my, my tails are hidden behind my face. <laughs> so... Okay. 
right, we've got a couple of votes in so far. Yeah, the, the way that I've got my chat set up is general shout yells emotes. All of that shows up on the chat at the bottom of my screen, which y'all have access to. All of my link shells, free company chat, uh, private DMs, uh, basically anything that I don't want the viewers to see on Twitch is behind my face. <laughs> so that way, especially considering that this is a roleplay venue, you'll be able to see what's going on in roleplay, but you won't be able to see all the private conversations going on at the same time. Oop, I can't type. Five minutes, in case anybody just wants to get that in before we uh, call the winner. There we go. We got some more votes now. This is an interesting song, actually. Wow, this song is called Give Me Extra Pineapple on My Pizza. <laughs> That's hilarious. That kind of excites me, actually. I like that. <gasps> Sadly, Namazoo's ruined my Shadowbringers... Or, uh, Shadow... Yeah, was it Shadowbringer? Yeah, Shadowbringers finale. No... <laughs> For some reason, my brain wanted to read that as Stormblood at first. I was going to give this culinarian a weird ass name like Chantalon or something. Right, got a little under three minutes left to vote here. I can't type. Oh my god, sadly, our, my team was full of Ro Namazoos. They may have been Namazoos, but the plain and simple fact that they would have been Rogadim would have just sold me completely. I thought I would have died and gone to heaven if my entire team was Rogadims. 
wow, we went from a really good song to WTF, what is this? Take revenge on the Namazu by requesting some fresh Namazulash. A goulash starring Namazutel? Oh my god, Drake. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. You know, something I kind of want to do that I didn't want to do prior because Roleplayers uh, uses yellow for her Twitch tag as well, but yellow is the echo color. And I think that's what I've been wanting to use for my Twitch tag as well, is to go with yellow. So I may actually go ahead and do that. One minute left on voting, by the way. One minute and counting. One minute till sleepy time. Guys, like, this has to be done. Alright, it's time. The votes are in. I on chandeliers right my way. The crowd has determined that the winner for tonight's competition shall be the suspense. Where's my drum roll? Do I even have a drum roll? I don't I don't think I do. Celine, you have won the competition. Naturally, I think deep down we all knew that the Yishtola cosplay was going to win this. Just hands down. I still can't type. So with this voucher, since it's not something I can like physically give you in-game, what I'm actually going to be doing here for you, Celine, is I'm going to be documenting this um, in our ledger that I keep up with. Um, so it's, it's going to be notated, and I'm going to basically see it every single time I, I work a shift or pull it up for payout uh, every time we do payroll. Uh, but any night that you do want to come in and just redeem it and get VIP access to anything and everything, just let me or any other manager that's working that night will just delete the line off the ledger and you'll have that VIP access for that entire night. Truth be told, I was only in this for the chuckles. <laughs> Same, I didn't even know tonight was costume night. It was a little bit kind of a last minute decision. It was a conversation that came up in Discord as we were talking about what we wanted to do tonight. Um, 
And then, of course, once we, we said something about doing a small costume contest, since we were telling everybody to dress up as your favorite Final Fantasy character, uh, it was mentioned, you know, why not turn it into a competition? So I kind of just threw it together last minute. You did a great last millisecond decision. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, I'm still beeping. Any plus ones or additional guests allowed with me? If it's, like, access to a VIP section, so, so, talking about, like, in the hypothetical, uh, if you hold on to that voucher until after we do the remodel, so we actually do have, like, that split-level VIP access room, um, then yes, uh, that would definitely be allowable, and I'll even notate that here in the notes, um, where you can have a plus one or, you know, maybe an entourage of X amount of people that can gain access with you. Um, so, so that's definitely a possible thing. But if you're talking about um, using the plus one for access to, like, a private session or anything of that... May not be able to work it out that way. But access to the VIP, uh, if you hang on to it that long, we should be able to do that. But that is why I did make that recommendation of holding on to it until after the remodel, because we are going to be expanding all the services and everything, and then have that exclusive access area. Uh, so that way, there will actually be like that VIP section uh, for those who have that membership or pay to get into it. You'll be waiting until after VIP is built. Yeah, that would be the best bet. And yes, uh, like uh, if you want to use it with an entourage as far as access to the VIP area, yeah, that'd be fine, perfectly. All right, that should take care of the announcements and our costume competition for the, the, the competition. I'm going to give up on talking. We're, we're just going to type everything from this point forward, which apparently I can't even do that all too well. But that does wrap up the competition for the night. We do only have less than half an hour before we actually close up the Echoes Chamber itself. Uh, as I did just say in Yell Chat, though, our DJ, Indigo Angel, uh, Phoenix LaForce in the game, is going to continue to mix and play music throughout the night. Uh, so if you still haven't checked out her channel or looked at any of the music that she's playing at, which is phenomenal music, by the way, definitely be sure to do so. And Drake, if you can get that shout out for me for her channel. Indigo Angel also recently just hit affiliate status with Twitch. 
Uh, so definitely has been working her way up the ranks um, as far as getting her qualifications and everything that she needed for her Twitch channel. Um, so if you're able to, definitely be sure to subscribe to her channel as well. Uh, she is a very talented DJ. And honestly, she just needs more exposure to grow and flourish with the music and the mixing that she does. Ooh, that's a close-up on Phoenix's face there. Hello. It's a heck! Oh my heck, we have a heck. How you doing? I am doing great. Oh, that's a good pro new profile picture, by the way. I like that. Oh, heck, it's a heck. Oh, gosh. Of course, there would be a high drink after I just took a drink. Tonight is just straight up. Well, at this point of the night, it's just straight up water. I've already gone through all of my positive energy tree. Tree? Tree. I'm drinking a tree. I have gone through all of my positive energy tea tonight, uh, which is a Yogi brand tangerine tea. It's really good. Um... I may be a little hyper from all the caffeine I've had, too, because alternatively to the tea, I've also been drinking gamer status uh, Diet Mountain Dew, if I can twist the bottle the right direction here, because I was also eating a bag of Doritos, just to add to the stereotype here. Not just a small bag of Doritos, we're talking about the freaking party size bag. So Naka's a little bouncy and all over the place. Tangerine tea sounds wonderful. It really is. There was only two boxes left of it in the entire grocery store, and I was a little upset over the fact, but it is so good. Oh, my God. That how you doing was very Joey-like. <laughs> Drinks the rest of Naka's fridge water and stands on top of Naka's... I'm sorry, what? It's a party, is it? Yeah, we had us a little bit of a uh, celebration going on here tonight. This is our pre-release party for Inwalker uh, for the expansion that's going to be coming out at the beginning of December. Early release is on the 3rd. The full release will be on the 7th. I have taken off the entire week from work, which I had to fight to rearrange my days off because, you know, the release date got pushed back. Uh, so I will be streaming that entire content, you know, Viewers be damned. I know a lot of people probably will not watch because of spoilers, but I just want to make sure that I record everything so I have my, like, first reaction to whatever happens in that story because it's going to be bad. There's going to be some major plot twists, and I want it on film. Drake's going to be pissing all night. I'm actually surprised I've only had to use the restroom twice this entire stream as much as I've been drinking liquid-wise. Drake's also thrilled about the fact that we now have an actual <laughs> restroom break command for every time I go use the potty. Weird flex, Drake, but okay. Powerful bladder. Hey, that actually, between me and uh, the other streamer role players, um, that's actually a topic that comes up quite often. She has got the bladder about the size of a freaking green pea. And anytime that she's drinking on stream, she's probably having to use the restroom like every 20 to 30 minutes. Um, which, you know, I used to be on the other end of that spectrum. I could probably drink water for days and still not have to use the restroom for like the next 10 hours. But I, th I think age is finally starting to catch up with me a little bit and everything just wants to run straight through me. Judging by Yoshi P's face on the last live letter, I fear for N Walker. Ah, same, same. I said the exact same thing. That maniacal shite eating grin that was on his face. God, I almost flipped my chair doing that. Um, 
is is basically saying that he's going to rip out our hearts, chew it up like mashed potatoes, spit it back out, and then make our heartless bodies reassemble it right in front of him. I am ready. <laughs> she goes to the bathroom like every 15. Yeah, she does. <laughs> she really does. This song's got a lot of bass in it. That is a really, really bright wing of that dragon that was right in my face there. Uh-oh. Did we lose Phoenix? Or did she disconnect? Or did she go outside? We lost our, our DJ. Oh no, she did disconnect. Okay, she's outside of the FC. She should be coming back in shortly, I think. I'm gonna cry like a bitch, aren't I? I know I'm gonna cry. And it's going to be so bad. Like, I have a, a, a severe soft spot um, for, for those of you who remember this, this cutscene. But it was towards the end of the 2.x story arc. After all the shit went down in Ulda. And the Scions were, like, dropping like fi flies. Just trying to make it out of the city and run for our lives. And then when we finally, finally get to that one meeting room that's over in Camp Dragonhead, and we're, we don't know what's happened with the other Scions, we're kind of just left alone, everybody hates us, uh, and we're in this room alone with Hashifant, and all of a sudden Tasharu comes in, and she, we were expecting, hopefully, other people were going to be behind her, but no, she comes in by herself, she looks at you, and she starts getting all teary-eyed and starts crying, and my heart okay i was playing on a laptop at this point in time when i got to that point in the story i just took the lid of the laptop and slammed it shut i could not handle that much devastation <laughs> at that point in my life i was so upset could not take it I'm gonna love it. I know, I know. Like, it's, it's what my boyfriend said earlier. Just the whole concept of just being masochism and masochistic is... It's gonna hurt so good. It's gonna be completely cathartic. Reminds me of role players at an earlier stage of that section. It's so hard not to get so, like, emotionally involved in the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, when the shit hit the fan and everything was just cascadingly falling apart around you, like, it was a little predictable. There, there was definitely some foreshadowing quite a bit in various different places that was taking place there. But when it actually happened at right in front of you and you were visually taking part of it, it just dagger through the heart is what happened. And no one, no one, not a fucking soul said a thing. She hated Chet so much for that. I mean... How much can you prepare a person for that much heartache without actually saying what it is that happens? Just, come on. I would like to point out currently in DJ Indigo Angel's stream, uh, where, where she's mixing and hosting all the music, uh, she has this perfect camera angle where the camera is just perfectly positioned right behind uh, actually you Luxan, right behind Tataru where it makes it look like that Tataru's just supervising everything that's happening in the club right now she's just watching the dance floor and it's great
Oh, check your title. Hang on. The po Oh, yes, I did. I noticed that when you first came in uh, and I looked at your title. It's just like perfection. Perfection. I love it. Is that quest, e quest line even still available anymore? Doing all those deliveries for the Moogles? Or did they get rid of that? It's still there? Okay. I wasn't sure. It wasn't even just that scene. It was another scene much later in the story. Oh, definitely. No kidding. That, that There was that moment in the game, but there was also several other moments in the game where it's literally just hook, line, and sinker in the heart, and then a massive, powerful, like, Thanos-level tug to rip the damn thing out of your chest. What is it uh, from Indiana Jones, Kali Kama, whatever, heart in hand? I'll DM you what I'm talking about if you're confused about it. Well, I mean, I don't know which moment specifically you're referring to, because, again, there was a bunch of moments in the game that were rather just my feelings. Oh, she's got some sprouts in her chat. That's awesome. I love hearing new players talk about the game. It's almost like reliving that excitement uh, vicariously through them all over again. Which is probably one of the reasons why I kind of did Echo's mission statement, the Order of the Echo mission statement, uh, as a place and home for enrichment and assistance for new players. What's that face for? What did I do? Did I say something? Was it something I said? Is this why people follow me around when I play the story? It very well could be. Not to mention that there is a lot of incentives built into the game to actually help and assist with new players. Because um, again, Final Fantasy community is literally just rewriting the rules when it comes to MMOs, period. It really is a place of such a positive commitment and influence to the community, unlike, you know, other various MMOs, not naming any names at the moment, but I'm pretty sure we know what I'm talking about, but other MMOs that promote nothing but, like, toxic masculinity 24-7. Not my main reason, you're my main reason. <laughs> okay. It's like, these people are only following you around just to help, not to stalk. Stalking is not cool. Disclaimer. Legal disclaimer there. We do not condone nor consent to that. I began to get really paranoid about it because I thought maybe I should be doing something more entertaining or doing things faster. Oh no. Heck has a community built around good vibes and bear hugs. This is so true. Now, admittedly, I, especially with the holidays being here, I have not been able to watch other people's streams as much as I wish I could be. Um, but I do love Heck streams so much. It is always such a feel good, laid back, just zen place to be. When you get an FC member in your random raid queue, oh gosh, yes, I love when that happens. I, I find that to be like a, a marker for me to let me know that Echo, the guild Echo, is, is definitely successfully going in the right direction. When I just do a random queue and end up with another guild mate, it makes me so happy. It's like, we are here, bitches. Yes. 
Same, Naka. I'm not in as many streams as I should be. Yeah, yeah, I 100%. And I know we say it every freaking time, but you and I really just need to pull out our calendars and be like, we're going to set a date. We're going to make sure that we are available on this day and we're going to go hang out at this time. Because <laughs> I swear to God, if we don't, we're never going to get around to it. There's at least three or four people minimum I can recommend for wholesomeness. Yes. I messaged the FC like, there's a player in my ray. <laughs> nope, not wholesome at all. I feel like the... The oxymoron, moron, moron, moron. Words are hard. The later it gets into the evening, the less I can talk. <coughs> talk, and I'm trying to lose my voice, apparently. But I feel like the oxymoron of saying that you are wholesomely perverted is just the, the perfect way to describe certain people. <laughs> I am a wholesome perv. That is That should be my title, wholesome perv. Your wholesome raid clips say differently. <laughs> Heck, it could have been both of us, honestly. At one point or another. Especially with the near raids, having to do those on a weekly basis. I wouldn't be surprised if it was in near. Speaking of near, I need to really do some copy factory. I've got plenty of breach coins and bunker coins. I I need some copy factory. Since I play most of the jobs, I have a res macro inspired by Tasuru. Pray return to the waking sands. We still need you. <laughs> Look, I actually had that on our card website um as part of the slogan of the Echoes Chamber as uh the greeting to to our website here. I'm trying to get it to load here for me. I have 50,000 tabs open in Chrome. The Echoes Chamber, where the Echoes Whisper can no longer implore you to fulfill Eorzea's every whim. Please enjoy your stay and pray return to the Echoes Chamber. That's just, it's, it's one of the things from Final Fantasy, kind of like, such devastation. I accidentally just double smashed my macro there. Still up for doing Eden with you, Naga, anytime? Oh yeah, definitely, because we still need to, to finish your Eden storyline, don't we? To be honest, it wasn't if it wasn't for me poking at Chalet Weatherfields, the uh, Zippy Zippo, I wouldn't even be here. Yeah, that was definitely fate. Oh, God, you did the Final Fantasy advertisement. For the record, I still do play Overwatch, even though there's all this um, hubbub about Blizzard going on right now and their CEO. But one of the reasons that I do go into Overwatch and play some matches is so that way, if and when somebody tries to talk shit in chat, because hello, it's Blizzard, um, I always turn around and say this advertisement for Final Fantasy. Did you know that the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial and includes the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heaven's Ward expansion up to level 60? And then I can't say the rest because of character limitations. I want to do a macro for my Super Boloid and Living Dead. Super Boloid especially. God, there's been so many times I would hit that freaking benediction. Then the tank would hit their oh shit button. And all of a sudden they're at one HP and I've already spent my oh, my oh shit button. My self-destruct macro is such devastation. <laughs> that is perfect. Perfect. All right, since we are getting within the kind of last 10 minutes of the night here, a um, couple of things I want to go over. I'm pulling up my calendar here. Let's see, I am not working today, so I'm actually going to delete this.
Okay, so for Monday night, for our, our Monday Night Blues special, I still will be here and available to open the club, the Echo Chamber, on Monday night. Uh, so that's going to be nothing out of the ordinary. We're still going to be running from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, doing our 50% off on all food items from the menu. So we'll still be here and around for that. But as of Tuesday, um, I am not going to be available as of the middle of this coming week, I am going to be leaving out of town to go on vacation with my boyfriend's family for the whole Thanksgiving weekend. I will not be back until the following Monday, which means that we will most likely be closed Tuesday night as well as the coming Saturday night next week. We will not be open or doing anything on those days. I will not be available. The following week after that is going to be when Endwalker is released. We will probably still do our usual events that Monday and the Tuesday, which is the 29th and the 30th. But for that Saturday, we will be closed because the pre-release of Endwalker is the day right before that Saturday. So that is going to be our upcoming schedule with everything that's coming up, both IRL for me and with the release of Endwalker. I'd only spend my oh shit button when I'm like 5 to 10k health. I try to do the same. Like I'm, I'm waiting till that last moment until my HP is like 1% before I smash that button. How much would all finger sandwiches be on Monday? I know this sounds really bad that I don't know the menu prices off the top of my head, but I can tell you here in a second. Uh, they are 12k a piece, so on Monday they would only be 6k. And if I bought your entire stock, if you pay for it, so be it. Now I feel like I need to look up the market price for finger sandwiches just because you have threatened this now. Oop, I didn't spell it right. Mark it. That is not finger sandwiches that I just looked up. Um, hang on a second. Come on, Amrick. It doesn't take you five years to look it up. <clears throat> oh my god, somebody's trying to sell a finger sandwich for over 10 million. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I missed everything you said because the stream crashed on my end. Oh no! Um, okay, so Diamond, I was talking about our upcoming schedule with the Echoes Chamber. I am going to be going on vacation next week with my boyfriend's family, so I am not going to be available um, at all for next week starting on Tuesday. So most likely we are going to be closed on this coming Tuesday. Monday night will still be the Monday Night Blues per our usual schedule program um but that tuesday and that saturday i will not be, be available so we will probably be closed for both those days i will not return until the following monday that monday and tuesday night we should be open but that following saturday is going to be right after when endwalker is pre-released so we will not be open on the saturday following the pre-release of endwalker 
and may actually be closed for the next week because of the expansion. But yeah, if Drake wants to sit, that is not the page I meant to click on. If Drake wants to sit there and buy every single finger, the, 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 every single finger sandwich that we got, cannot talk. Um, then by all means, go ahead and buy all two hundred and three we've got in stock, please. Actually, Rollenberry Tart would be the better choice. Oh, Jesus Christ. The Scions will pay for the damages. No. Well, I mean, if it makes us money, it makes us money. How many Rollenberry Tarts? Oh, dear Lord. Let's see. We have 174 left of those. We're also going to go ahead and check to see who else is streaming tonight, because I'm going to uh, raid another streamer here shortly. We're probably going to go ahead and pass it off to uh, Phoenix, DJ Indigo Angel, since she is going to be mixing music a little bit further into the night for the after party here. So I'm going to go ahead and get us prepared to do that, because we're getting ready to close up for the night, and I'm going to be counting up all cells that we did and get ready to pay everybody. All right, we did our shout. We're getting ready to close up here. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to raid her channel. I do want to go ahead and also thank all of y'all for joining us tonight. Uh, again, we know it's the pre-patch lull. Things are kind of slowing down and not a whole lot of people around at the moment. But that's going to change after the Endwalker expansion is released. And everybody will be returning back to the game. Probably still not going to be doing much for the first couple of weeks. Everybody's going to be playing around with the new content. But we'll definitely be reopening it shortly after and coming back with a bang. Especially after we do our remodel. We're going to go ahead and raid Phoenix Angel. Or Phoenix Angel. Indigo Angel. As they're DJing and playing music throughout the night. If you haven't followed their channel, be sure to do so. And enjoy their music. Subscribe if you can. I'm going to head on out for the night. And thank you all for coming. <laughs>